So let's suppose that we have the following system. We have an elevator. Inside the elevator we have a person standing on a scale and the elevator is traveling upward with constant velocity. So if we sum up all the forces acting on our object, the person along the y-axis, we see that our sum is equal to zero because we have constant velocity. Our object is not accelerating. So this value is zero and the entire right side goes to zero. So what exactly are the forces acting on our person? So we have the normal force created by the scale acting on the person pointing upward along the y-axis. And we have the gravitational force acting on the person pointing in the opposite direction of our motion, in the opposite direction of the normal force. So we choose the upward direction to be positive and the downward to be negative. We see that our normal force minus the gravitational force is equal to zero. So we rearrange it and we find that the normal force is equal to mass of the object multiplied by our gravitational constant g. Now this means that the scale inside the following elevator will read the actual weight of the object. So the weight of the object is given by m times g and the normal force that our scale reads is also m times g. What about if we look at a different case? Let's look at case number two. Now, the same elevator is accelerating downward with some acceleration given by the following variable. So, now we have the sum of all the forces acting on our object, the person along the y-axis, is equal to m times a, and this is no longer zero because our system is in fact accelerating downward. So we choose downward to be positive, upward to be negative, and we sum up our forces. So we have the gravitational force minus the normal force is equal to m times a. And once again, if we rearrange our equation and solve for the normal force, we see that the normal force as read by the scale is equal to the gravitational force m times g minus m times a. So that means now the scale reads an apparent weight that is less than the actual weight. So the actual weight of the person remains the same. It's m times g. But our apparent weight as read by the scale is now less and is given by the following formula because we have our object is accelerating downward in the same direction as g as our gravitational constant. Now, finally, let's look at case three. Let's suppose now I cut the cord or the cord somehow breaks and the elevator, the person, the scale, begin traveling downward with the same acceleration as our gravitational constant. So our object is now in free fall. So if the cord is cut, the elevator will accelerate at g, the same g that we have here. So 9.8 meters per second squared. So now, if we sum up all the forces acting on our person, that will equal m times g. So once again, we have the same two forces acting on the person. We have the gravitational force pointing downward is chosen to be positive minus the normal force is equal to m times g. So now let's solve for our normal force. We see that the normal force is equal to m times g minus m times g. So these m's are exactly the same. These g's are exactly the same. And that means the normal force or the apparent weight that is read by the scale is zero. And that means in such a case, the person feels weightless. So if our person is inside the elevator that is free falling, that person will feel like he's weightless. When actually what's taking place is the gravitational pull is still there. And because the gravitational pull is still there, it's pulling the elevator, the scale, and the person at the same exact rate. And the person feels weightless or an apparent weightlessness when in reality, he still has a weight of m times g. Now, let's talk about people in a satellite orbit. So let's suppose we have the following satellite. Inside the satellite, we have three people, and the satellite is following some orbit around the Earth. 
So the apparent weightlessness that we spoke about in case 3 is the same exact apparent weightlessness that these people feel inside our satellite, inside a space shuttle that is orbiting our Earth. So what is taking place is the satellite and the people inside the satellite are constantly free-falling in the same way that this system is free-falling. And this object and the people are free-falling due to the gravitational pull of the Earth. So these objects, these people, just like this person, will feel an apparent weightlessness because they're constantly free-falling. So this system of objects want to move in the following direction, but they don't move in the following direction because gravity pulls down on them and they follow the following circular orbit.